Wednesday once again. You all know what that means. It's time for another Discord name challenge here in Let's Call the Wild. And this week's challenge is 454 open sight shots over 100 meters. You can see my ammo count right now is at 325 and I'm going to do my best not to reload uh, because we're going for two out of five drop shots on ethical species. So like moose and elk. Black bear would be ethical, but they're going to be too easy, I feel, because you can make a double lung shot and drop them, so moose and elk is the goal here. And if you know nothing about these challenges, basically, if I fail the challenge, you all get to choose my name in Discord for an entire week, and I'll just have that name uh, pretty much from Friday to Friday, because I give two days for people to come up with suggestions. Uh, and then if I succeed, I get to choose my own name for that week uh, up until the next challenge. So, we do have a moose out here. I don't really know... Like, obviously I need to go for spine. That's that's the biggest organ I can hit. But I don't know... There, there's two factors to this challenge, basically. There's obviously the lack of zoom. Like, if I, if I just aim at her there, like 160 out, that pin covers so much of her that it's just difficult to get a precise shot. I think there's a coyote running across there. It looked kind of white. Nah, it's normal. Uh, obviously the other part of this is the bit of bullet drop. There's not much, uh, but at 105-ish meters, just staying a little bit over so I don't end up shooting at a moose that's too close, there's enough for it to make a significant impact. So I need to pretty much aim a little bit high and also be precise enough to catch the spine on what's apparently going to be a laying down moose, uh, which is not exactly ideal. But I'm going to get over here. Did she notice me or is she just eating? She's just eating. All right, that's fine. Uh, I'd rather her being standing up anyway when I shoot. But I'm going to get over here where we're pretty much broadside, and we are pretty much to that. And, of course, she just noticed me. She's going to try to move, and I don't want her to do that. Okay. That's weird. We got her. That's going to be 100% quick kill. But why did she not drop immediately? I'll take it. I mean, not going to complain. But I'm a little bit confused. I thought, in fact, I'm nearly certain that a spine shot at that range should drop them immediately. Unless I hit lumbar spine, which I don't think that could have possibly been the case. I don't know. Uh, but as we run up here, I mentioned getting to choose my name in Discord. If you're not already a member of the Discord, the link to that is in the description below. Uh, so you can get in on coming up with ridiculous names for me and just having a general good time hanging out with everybody in there. It's so much fun just being in Discord. I have spent many hours just hanging out in voice chats, even in the text chats. Just having fun and being silly is just, it's a blast. This community is amazing. So if you're not already a member of that, I really do recommend joining. Uh, once again, the link to that is in the description below. So what happened here? What? Straight spine, 110 meters. I am all kinds of confused. I thought for certain that she would just fall. I mean, it doesn't matter. Obviously, it still counts, but I just, I don't get it. I don't understand why she didn't drop immediately. That really confused me. Uh, but either way, we are one for one already. The set goal was two. I don't know if I have to change that mid-challenge. We'll see, but we'll have to find some more moose before we get to that, or I guess maybe elk, now that I have their tracks. So we've got a cow moose here. The problem is this little hill with all the grats is really a bit of a problem. I can't get the angle that I want to go for this shot. I don't really know where I can actually stand. Because once I get... Oh, maybe there could work. That's about 102. That angle's not good. I suppose if I miss it, it's a learning experience for the rest of the hunt. Uh, just so I kind of know what shots not to go for. I want to let that spot go away so I can spot her again. Uh, and then get that to... Uh, have her outline when I shoot. So we're about 103. I know I need to aim a little bit high. Yeah, not that high, apparently. That was a clean miss. Uh, I guess the one positive out of that is I don't need to worry about, uh, like, I, c I can run into her again and shoot her if I see her. I it's not going to mess up the quick kill because I didn't hit her. But I think that pretty much tells it I should not uh, go for any kind of weird angles because it's going to cause me to try to hit an area that's a little bit, I don't know, not warped, but at a, a different angle than I am comfortable shooting at, so we'll wait for better shots for the rest of them. I think that's actually her again. 
Should I go for that ridiculous angle for some kind of revenge on a moose? Is that a thing? Oh, no way. <laughs> if that was a heart shot, and if it was actually over 100 meters because she was walking at me, that would be an insane way to actually complete a challenge. What the heck? I was honestly being a little bit stupid and just going for it because I missed her. I think that's vital blood. I think we just made a heart shot. Hold on. How far was that? 103 meters just barely clipped the top of the heart there. I'll take that all day. How cool is that? Open sights, 103 meters. I could barely even see what I was aiming at. So we're two for three. Technically, we are challenge complete. Uh, but I think maybe we'll switch it to try to get three just because. Uh, partially because there's a gold moose coming in, but... I need to get him to, like, stop. Should I go for another heart shot? I don't really want to do that. Could. Yeah. Yeah, I don't like that. Um, we'll see if he gives us something broadside there. That would be ideal. Gonna wait. I imagine he'll turn and give us something better than that. And we kind of learned on the cow moose, actually the same one that we just killed, I believe not to go for weird angles, even though uh, I went for probably a more insane one right after that. Bad thing is, he's just going to get too close, I think. Yeah, I didn't see that happening, but I had to try. Probably a flesh wound? Yeah, I don't think he's going to die. Uh, but either way, I guess technically we only have one more chance to make it to 3 out of 5, because I took some not-so-intelligent shots, but... We'll see if we can make that happen, and yeah, that was definitely a flesh wound. I shouldn't have even gone for that, to be honest. So, another bad angle here, 108 meters out. If I could get her broadside, I wouldn't mind going for that. I mean, just because it's my last shot, I don't want to take that specifically. Oh, that could work, though. Can you, like, stand still for a second till I get, till I get ready? Clean over. Well, I guess, I mean, did I succeed or did I fail? Because it was sort of, uh, I succeeded in the actual challenge and then failed what I set out to do right after that. So, uh, how about we let you guys choose in the comments if the challenge was too easy and 2 out of 5 was too easy. Uh, in that case, then I fail. I think we'll go with that. And then if the challenge was hard enough and 2 out of 5 was fair, I guess maybe... Uh, it could be a success, so I'll either post a poll here on YouTube for you guys to vote right after, or maybe you guys can just vote in the comments. If there's an obvious, um, like, clear winner by what you guys are saying, I can just leave it at that. So, yeah, we'll let you guys choose on that, and based on that, that'll choose whether or not I'm gonna have, uh, my own name in Discord, or something you guys come up with. So, that was actually a blast. I didn't really think these open sides with the 454 would be that much fun to try to go for some ridiculous shots, but that heart shot on the cow moose, I don't care if you guys uh, decide that I fail or succeed. That made my day. I couldn't believe I hit that uh, on just something I was going for for a little bit of revenge, and revenge it was for costing me a shot right in the heart. That was insane. Uh, so that is going to do it for this video. It's probably somewhat short. Uh, but I will hopefully see you guys in Discord, so thank you for sticking around to the end of this, and I will hopefully see you there.